Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. And today we should talk about Mario Draghi's press conference yesterday and what exactly, uh, what impact that can have on the markets going forward. So basically, Mario Draghi came out, very, very dovish statement, basically saying that there was no limit to the amount of intervention that this um, ECB would do in order to uh, support the market. And uh, that could come in the way of a rate cut, could be QE. He was very, very kind of blasé about um, or nonchalant about exactly what they would do, just that they would do whatever it takes. And a large number of traders have taken that to mean a potential rate cut in, uh, in, in the Eurozone. And um, many traders have actually heard this before. So this is not the first time that he's hinted to action and then not actually follow through. So what you have seen initially is the markets have massively re rebounded higher when you've obviously got the uh, the backing of the ECB, we'll do whatever it takes mantra. Um, you've seen stocks just absolutely massively rebound. Crude oil has jumped about 10% from the lows that it had yesterday before Draghi's speech. Um, the FTSE is up 6% from its, uh, from its lows yesterday before the speech. But the big question now is going to be uh, who's going to blink first because now the markets know that Mario Draghi is a bit of a talker and he's less of a less of a man of action. It'll be interesting to see if they call his bluff. And that's that's the problem. Mario Draghi doesn't actually want to cut rates. He doesn't actually want to use QE because once he's done it, he's used his last ace in the hole. And there really isn't a lot of gas left in the tank once he does that. So looking at Euro dollar yesterday is a prime example. Initially, Euro dollar absolutely crashed down, then reversed right back up only to just a little bit below where it opened. Really interesting candle, we'll have a look at that in a second. This morning it is a little bit on the decline. The most equity markets are actually higher this morning, uh, but it is a Friday incidentally, and it'll be interesting to see if uh, that this rally is able to maintain its momentum before the weekend. I suspect you'll get a number of traders uh, looking to shore off positions, take a little bit of risk out of there as well, and um, wait to see what happens on Monday. So let's go ahead and have a look at things from a technical perspective, so you can see quite clearly where the support and the resistance levels are, heading into that weekend. So without further ado, let's have a look at the US 30. So you can get a flavor of the volatility that we've had. Um, this is obviously Wednesday, Thursday. So we were much higher only for it to come back down again uh, when the markets kind of really figured things out. But the markets are moving a good bit higher. We're a little bit away from the moving averages. You've almost got a crossover with the MACD and there's a buy signal in the RSI and the slow stochastic is just about to give that buy signal. 83% of CNC markets clients are currently short. So they obviously feel that um, a similar picture to what we just talked about, that there could be a little bit of selling pressure towards the end of the session. Jumping on to the UK 100 right now, 77% of CMC markets clients are currently long. So this is actually the only index where CMC markets clients are very hopeful about a, a jump higher. And you can see on Wednesday there we have that beautiful bounce off uh, 5600. Decent candle yesterday. You can see the lows we were at before Draghi, but then we were off a little bit from the highs. And this morning we're at the top end of its range. Jumping on to the Japan 225, 77% of CMC markets clients are currently short. Um, we're off the session highs. 71.72 is the next potential resistance. I'm expecting dollar yen's probably done a little bit of a reversal. Let's have a look at that right now. And in fact, yes, it has. So uh, very strong bounce of 116. Uh, we're actually quite close to 118 spot there. Uh, 118 spot 33. This is going to be an interesting level because as you can see here, lots and lots of long, long, long like candles quite close to there, and you're getting close to that 21 period SMA. So if you're trading it, if you're trading dollar yen. 118 spot 33 is a very strategic level. 68% of CMC markets clients are currently long. Okay, let's have a look at West Texas, which has 56% of clients are currently uh, sellers. So maybe a little bit of indecision there. You can just see that beautiful bounce again of 26 spot 73. Strong candle yesterday, another strong candle today, but a rejection of a move above 29.63 or quite close to $30. Okay, so big psychological level. You've got the long legged candle there from, uh, from earlier on. I think that was on Monday or last Friday. Uh, that gives you a bit of an idea of where you might expect short term potential resistance on the way up. You do have a buy signal coming up on the uh, MACD, the RSI, and the slow stochastic is oversold, but not yet given that signal to buy. Moving on to gold, uh, gold has reversed course. Volatile candle yesterday, a doji formation. 
Uh, we're at the bottom end of the range today. One spot, uh, $1,100 is the potential resistance we've talked about. Other technicals are relatively neutral. Next potential support, $1,085. So let's have a look at Euro dollar. And you can just get an idea after Draghi's comments, boom, you've got Euro dollar there smashing through 1.08 uh, and change, only to reverse course all the way back up to the 21 period SMA, back above the 55 period SMA, and then just for it to pause. 61% of CMC markets clients are currently short on your dollar. And if you look at today's candle, it is a, a, a kind of a bearish engulfing pattern at the moment. We are off the session lows. You've got that 55 period SMA and that potential support at one spot zero eight and change. If we break and close below that, that's when things get a little bit more interesting. Then the markets are maybe taking Draghi more at his word. If we don't see a, a big move to the downside, because we're still trading within this triangle, we've been talking about potential descending triangle formation. Um, for as long as we're still trading within that, uh, the markets are maybe looking more likely to call Mario's bluff. But let's see if he actually acts or not. That's a big one. So Euro dollar and focus. Let's have a look at GBP USD. Decent rebound there yesterday as well. We've had some decent data come out of the UK as well. Well off the session lows. Um, and we were below one spot 41. Back up ahead above more, but we are at one spot 42 and change. That's a very strategic level for GBP USD. The question is, can it stay above there? CMC markets clients don't think so. 72% of CMC markets clients are currently short. Economic data wise, today you got uh, a couple of uh, PMI updates from Germany from the Eurozone and finishing up with existing home sales. I always check the weekend for Chinese data. And in fact, we've just got some Japanese data on Sunday, trade exports. Uh, Monday gives you German IFO business sentiment index. Tuesday gives you uh, CCI. Wednesday, there's not really anything that exciting until Wednesday when obviously you get the FOMC statement. And that will be a very, very big one. And one that many people will look at for a statement uh, regarding the strength of the US economy. Obviously, we're not expecting that policy rate to change. It's just more so what they're going to say after the fact. Well, guys, thank you very much for joining me again today. Very good luck with your trading. Enjoy your weekend and join me again on uh, Monday to find out what happened next. Thank you very much and goodbye. Oh.